Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the use of theory in qualitative and mixed methods research. Um, so in qualitative research, there are a few different ways that we use theory. Um, so it might be used in the design and development of the research study um, because it might provide a broad explanation for a topic that we want to study or phenomenon we want to look at. Uh, might provide a theoretical lens through which to view the phenomenon. Um, and, but very often the theory is what is produced by the qualitative research. So rather than designing the qualitative research with the use of theory, it is often produced by the research itself. Um, so it can be used as a theoretical lens, um, which is an overall orienting lens for question of gender, class and race. Um, but as I mentioned, uh, we might use an inductive approach in qualitative research uh, where you're conducting this exploratory research and the end result is theory. Um, so you wouldn't be using a theory in the design of the research, but it would be a product of the research. Um, so you want to decide if you're going to use theory in your qualitative proposal um, if you are designing qualitative research. So you need to decide, are you starting with the use of theory to help provide some um, explanation for why you're conducting this research in this particular area and maybe what you expect to see? Um, or are you going to use theory um, not in the design of your study, but as an expected outcome of your study? Okay, so if we're looking for theory when we're reviewing the literature or where should you place it when you are writing your proposal or your manuscript, um, if it depends on the type of study and what is being looked at. So studies that have cultural themes or theoretical lens, then you would learn about the theory that they're employing early on. So in the opening passages, in the introduction early on, um, they'll be discussing the theory that is guiding the research from the beginning. Uh, in a study that has an emerging design or qualitative inquiry, um, it would also be at the beginning, but you're more likely to see some version of the theory. So a variation that has some kind of twist maybe um, that is specific to the phenomenon or the topic that is being studied. Um, and then a study that's based on grounded theory, it means that that study is producing the theory. Um, so the theory would be derived inductively rather than building the study around a theory, the theory is built around the study. Uh, so in that case, it would be written about at the end of the study. So when you get to the discussion, that's where there would be a discussion of the theory that emerged from um, the qualitative research that was conducted. So theory in mixed methods research would inform the design, data collection, analysis, and interpretation, just like in quantitative research. Um, so mixed method studies, you might use theory deductively, just like in quantitative research. So uh, you might start with a theory that you are applying uh, to your research and that's guiding your hypotheses and so on. And you might include theory inductively, um, just like in qualitative research or both. Uh, so that's the beauty of mixed method studies is that you get to draw from um, whatever you need for studying that topic that can be contributed by both the quantitative and qualitative aspects of the research. Thanks so much for watching. That's all I have for you in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.